Welcome everyone to the Colleen's radio show and TV show to all the dreamers. I'm your host, Cassandra Brunson, and it is such an honor to be with all of you today. You know, at The Calling, we have realized that so many people are afraid to go after the dreams that God has put inside of their hearts because they are afraid to fail. And that's just plain wrong because if God has given us a dream and we're not living it out, we are wasting it and we do not want to die with regret. That's why The Calling loves to inspire, empower, and equip people to go after God's dreams on their lives. And we know that nothing's impossible, that we can do this through conferences, workshops, seminars, and especially through this radio program and TV show, having incredible guests like we do today, the one and only Max Asmus. Max, welcome to the show. Thank you, appreciate you for having me. Oh, it's so great to be here. And we are on site at Oral Roberts University in studio. It is such an honor. And we are here in your home court, actually, aren't we, Max? It is, it is, the Maybe Center. Yes, yes. And Max, what is your title right now? What do people know you as? Oh, uh, they call me Mayor Max. They call me Mayor Max. And why do they say that? Uh, it's because of my deep shots that I shoot. I'm um, getting like a little rhythm um, and can pull it up from deep and, and it'll go in sometimes. Oh my gosh. Well, we're so excited to be able to hear about this and being a student at Oral Roberts mm -hmm. University. What is your major? I'm in uh, biochemistry, so it's a lot of science and uh, some math classes within that too. Wow. Well, we want to hear how you got into that mm -hmm. and um, how did you pick Oral Roberts University to go to out of all the schools um, to attend? Yeah, I mean, for first, the, the major, um, I kind of got in it, uh, into it because of my interest in like forensics. That kind of stuff interests me. And then um, as far as Oral Roberts, um, I knew I wanted to play college basketball um, at the D1 level. Right. Um, I had a few offers coming out of high school, not a whole lot. Um, I wasn't really, you know, highly recruited, but... Uh, the coaching staff here at Oral Roberts, they love me um, mm -hmm. and they believed in me. And that's always what you want, in, you know, a coach and a coaching staff. And so uh, right. for me, I wanted to come in and have an impact on the program and kind of turn it around in the right direction. <gasps> yes. Well, we have just, God has been able to let your fame in this mid-court max <laughs> be known throughout the nation. And Max, can you just take us, to, when people are hearing about this, what have been some of the scenarios if they haven't seen your video clip, what is happening usually in one of those scenes? Uh, I'm just out there playing. Um, you know, for me, I'm just out there being me. You know, I've played basketball for so many years, so um, it's just basketball at the end of the day for me. And so, um, you know, if I get hot um, and I've hit a few in a row, I might pull one from deep, you know, <laughs> and knock that one down too. Wow. Well, it seems like it's almost these impossible shots that are coming and you're able to take them just – what gives you the strength to do that? Uh, I think just my confidence in myself uh, and the work that I put in. You know, I put a lot of hours in the gym um, mm -hmm. and, you know, I'm a believer in, you know, uh, what you work on in the dark will show in the light. And so I'm mm. um, always just preparing myself, um, putting myself in game situations um, so that when I get in those game situations, I can perform to my best. Right. Well, we just are so honored to be able to be with you, Max, and to be able to hear your story and your background. How were you able to know when you were a child? Can you look back and see how God started dropping all these dreams in your heart that you were supposed to be a basketball player mm -hmm. and trust him with your destiny? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think uh, he's always guided my journey. He guides everybody's journey um, and he has a, a special journey for each and every person. Mm -hmm. And um, I think for me, just at a young age, playing uh, different sports, you know, football, did track too. Um, I think basketball was the one that, that really stuck, uh, stood out to me. Um, and so um, from an early age, I knew that I wanted to go on and play in college and uh, with the ultimate goal of going to the NBA. And so um, mm -hmm. just doing that, um, if, if it's God's plan for me. And so um, I've just been committed to that um, and following along that journey. Wow. Well, I think everyone tuning in and watching are rooting for you and can see God's destiny unfolding before you. Isn't it true, Max, that you're fourth in the nation for the most shots in the game? Oh, uh, yes. It's, uh, fourth in the nation of uh, scoring. Yes, ma'am. 
Wow. And so what? how many points are you scoring per game? So I, I should be better in my <laughs> basketball knowledge. But I do love basketball. Michael Jordan was one of my biggest role so models growing up. Uh, but how many how many points per game? I, I'm not sure to be honest with you. I don't really pay attention to all the stats and everything. I just okay. go out there um, and do what I can to help us win. Oh well, I we love your humility and it. heard that it's around the 22 point range. <laughs> but I do love that you said that um, you want to do things in the dark and let God bring them into light at the due time mm -hmm. and due harvest. What have been some of the different giants that you've had to slay along the way to be able to pursue your God-given dream? Um, I think the biggest thing is, is kind of my size. Um, you know, I think that a lot of times, you know, um, when you're getting recruited or, you know, trying to take the next step to the next mm -hmm. level, um, you don't necessarily pass, you know, the eye test of being uh, big enough, you know, strong enough and all that. But hmm. um, I think that, you know, with the work you put in um, and the confidence you have in yourself, as yeah. long as you believe in yourself, you know, you can achieve anything. And so yes. um, just understanding that um, and controlling what I can control. That's a big thing for me is not worrying about things I can't control uh, that are out of my hand, but just focus on what I can control. Right. Well, everyone that can see us and that are tuning in, they would assume that you are that you are a big guy. But for <laughs> basketball, how what's the average size? I couldn't tell you. It's, it's taller than me. I know that for <laughs> sure. <laughs> a little taller. <laughs> well, that is pretty remarkable. What were some of these things that people have told you that you couldn't do that God showed that you could? Yeah, I mean, um, you. You know, just people saying that you can't play at the next level. Um, you know, you won't have, you know, success in the next level. And, you know, at the end of the day, there's going to be a lot of outside noise. And uh, you can't right. let that build you up or tear you down. And so um, just, like I said, controlling what I can control and uh, making sure that I can go out there and perform. Wow. Well, we know that it takes an army to go after our God-given destinies. And we just know that being a student, I'm also a student at Oral Roberts okay. University for their doctorate program, really? okay. a strategic leadership, and have just adored um, and admired the curriculum so far. It has been vigorous. Right, I right. bet you can attest to that for as sure. well. But it has been life changing. But that has been a huge part of the team dynamics. Has that community really built strength in your heart? I think so, for sure. Um, you know, just being in a community like Oral Roberts um, is so. Um, God focused um, and keeping the important things, you know, where they're supposed to be and, mm -hmm. um, you know, at the top priority. And so, um, you know, I think the coaching staff, too, they do a good job of, um, you know, implementing the faith aspect into basketball as well. Um, you know, before games, we'll have chapel and things like that. So um, making sure that our um, important, our priorities are straight um, and focusing on the things that are, uh, need to be focused on. Wow. Well, when people are saying that you can't do something or that you – maybe have too much homework to do or being able to overcome maybe being invited. You know, we all have these temptations that come up. How, what has been one situation that you have seen God's providence and a miracle to be able to get out of it, uh, to run? Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just say um, kind of just throughout my whole life. I mean, even going back to high school, um, being a, I went to a college preparatory high school, uh, Dallas Jesuit. Um, okay. Just being in a position like that where it's vigorous as um, in academics and then athletics takes a lot as well. And so um, learning from an early age, you know, time management um, and that aspect um, definitely carried over to college. Very nice. It's neat that God uses all these seeds to pour into our heart right. and then we're able to see how he waters it over right. time. And Max, who has been your biggest... So we know that your faith is very important to you, mm -hmm. um, a cornerstone in your heart. Who else has been an example um, to you, their work ethic, um, a hero of sorts? Yeah, uh, I would definitely say my parents. Um, oh. And then um, growing up for me, my favorite player was uh, Kobe Bryant. Um, so okay. his approach to the game was something um, that I admired and his work ethic. And then, um, you know, seeing that in my parents every day as well. Um, and then uh, the support that they have for me, you know, they make it to pretty much every game. And so um, just loving me uh, and always supporting me is definitely something I admire too. Hmm, I love it. Well, Kobe Bryant is, his work ethic was, there was, it was naturalist, huh? Right, right, right. And there's a book called Relentless. It reminds me of you and your work that. ethic. And just being able to know that you do have to have a mindset that there's always more. Right. Did he, 
did he learn a lot from Michael Jordan? He did, yeah. He, he kind of tried to mirror uh, Michael Jordan and, and try to take it to another level of, of just, you know, his approach and then the work ethic, you know, just understanding that there's always more that can be achieved. Right, right. Well, we just, we can't wait to learn all this wisdom from you, Max, and we're excited to be able to um, just know that. We're going to take a short break. We have Max Acemus on with us. Stay tuned. We are back. Thank you for tuning in to All the Dreamers radio show as well as TV show. We are here on site at Oral Roberts University and have the one and only Max Acemus on with us. And Max, I just have to be able to share your name. Do people, is it kind of confusing for people? <laughs> it is for sure. It's, it's been messed up, you know, my whole life. Um, and so um, it, it's German um, and the I B is it. silent. So. So how is it spelt? It's A-B-M-A-S. Okay. Yes, well, we love it. And Max, you were just sharing about your uh, inspirations, your heroes in life, mm -hmm. and who you look up to. And you said Kobe Bryant, and he learned a lot from Michael Jordan. Right. So when you come in for practice, what mm -hmm. do your practices look like? What has been the best rhythm that you found, even for a week's worth of workouts? I mean, uh, coming into practice, you know, we practice every day, um, you know, two, three hours, um, whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. um, so, so that's definitely an important part, um, building the team chemistry, um, playing with everybody. Um, and then I also think, uh, for me, I always get shots up after too, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. Every D1 college player in the country, you know, practices so many hours. So it's, you know, what do you do to separate yourself? And uh, for me, just making sure I, I maintain that consistency every single day. Yes, yes. And... When you, so Max, when you're in the middle of a game mm -hmm. and you said that you had to get in the rhythm in the first part of our show, mm -hmm. and then you feel like you have the confidence and strength to be able to take those shots, right. what has, what, take us to that moment. What are you feeling? What is going through your mind? And then how do you, how do you even throw a <laughs> mid-court shot? Right. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm just, just playing within myself. Um, you know, I have the confidence from the jump. Um, and just depending on how the defense is playing me, I'm just going to, you know, take what the defense gives me. You know, if uh, they're doubling me, you know, create for my open teammates. And, you know, if I'm hitting shots, then, you know, I get in a good rhythm and, you know, I can knock them down. Right, right. Well, I challenge everyone to be able to go look at one of these videos because you feel like you're, it, it's like a, you're watching a movie, <laughs> but you are a real person, right. um, real life. And how many midcourt shots have you made? Uh, I don't know, honestly. Um, you know, they, a, lot, a lot of my threes would be deep threes, and, okay. and they'll kind of consider that, um, uh, you know, the mid-court shot. Right. Um, you know, I had a good one this year, though, for, from half court for a game winner, so I, that one was pretty special. Wow. Well, yes, I. you can even feel just the God's favor over that and his providence right. over these incredible shots. And the way that it's opening up the nation's eyes, mm -hmm. not only uh, to you, but also to the Lord mm -hmm. and being able to see his strength in and through you. Right. And you mentioned that your parents have been a huge part of your life and your strength to be able to uh, be who you are today, to create that character and that right. molding. What was it like growing up for you? Are you, where are you from? I'm from Rockwall, Texas. Um, so okay. about... 15, 15, 20 minutes from, you know, downtown uh, Dallas and um, just growing up, you know, having loving parents and, you know, always supporting, you know, me and my siblings as well. Uh, and they just want to see us do, do uh, everything we do with the best that we can. And so mm -hmm. um, they're always pushing for that uh, and always making sure that we know that we can always be better than what we are. Wow. Well, it seems like they were able to create yeah, this character that allows you to now be a senior mm -hmm, at right. ORU. And did you have siblings that encouraged you to, where are you at in the midst of that? I'm the middle child, the, <laughs> the, the best child. But uh, yeah, I got an older brother and a younger sister. And um, just growing up, they, they did sports too. My brother played basketball as well. And uh, then my sister did, you know, competitive dance. And so, okay. um, you know, all of us just having a great work ethic um, and, mm -hmm. you know, just supporting one another. Right, right. And how old are all of you? Uh, so I'm uh, 21. My okay. older brother is uh, 24. Okay. And then my younger sister is uh, 19. So. <gasps> 
I love it. Well, when Max, when you're looking at different opportunities for the future, you are on this big part of your li your journey, your life milestone where you have to choose what's next and allow to have the faith to do that. Where would you want to go after ORU? Oh, the, the plan is to go um, pro um, and yeah. um, try to go um, make it to the NBA. Um, that's always been a lifelong dream for me. Um, I think it's a, a lifelong dream for a lot of people. And so mm -hmm. um, to be in the position I am today, I'm definitely blessed. Um, and just understand that um, there's, there's more that I can be better at um, and a whole other level that I can reach to, to help better and put myself in a better position. Right. Is there a certain team that you would, or t maybe a couple of teams that you would say are your favorite maybe they're tuning in right now i mean <laughs> i mean growing up for me my favorite player was kobe so i like the lakers but um uh, any yeah. team is cool with me you know yeah. uh, all i need is opportunity um so whatever team would take a chance on me um <gasps> it's all i need you guys want to take a chance on this guy you do not want to miss out i'm you know i'm from denver and right. so the nuggets would love to have you, <laughs> yeah, <I hate> you. <laughs> but when you're pursuing your dream, mm -hmm. what have you seen that was set apart, Max, from just an ordinary dream, a selfish one, compared to a God-given dream? You know, this show is all about going after your God-given dreams, right. and a lot of people mix that up. How have you been able to tell the difference and know that for your own life, especially for basketball? Uh, I think just praying about it um, and um, just, just trying to follow God's steps. You know, it might not be... Um, you know what you want to do but mm -hmm. it's what God sees for you um, and the future you have and he's always putting you in, in a in a great position you know to go along the journey that he sees for you and you mm -hmm. know whether we see it or uh, whether we see it or not now uh, we'll definitely see it later down the road right he's the master storyteller right, and right. being able to do that and with your major, how did you pick your major out of all the ones? Can you share that again, what, what it was? Yeah, it's uh, biochemistry. So just um, for me, uh, I like math and science. And so um, forensics is what interested me into it. Um, and so kind of, you know, the shows like Forensic Files and those type of uh, nature shows um, kind of interest me. And so that's kind of how I got into it. <gasps> Did you, what kind of shows did you watch? Yeah, but like for, <laughs> Forensic Files is one of them, you know, okay. the, the NCIS shows. Wow. Um, you know, I just thought it was pretty interesting, kind of how they can solve different things by something, you know, really small, just things like that. And for those such as myself that don't much know much about it, what is the smallest of details that you could trace someone back to? I mean, something as simple as just touching something, you know, wow. like fingerprints or, you know, just something right. really small like DNA, you mm -hmm. know, just little things like that. And that can be in your hair. Everywhere. Eyelash. Exactly. Uh <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> that is pretty fascinating. And th for you to be able to pick a major like that. I think a lot of people with athletics in mm -hmm. general might go on a route that wouldn't be as vigorous right, as biochemistry, right. um, but you have pet, you picked the route that was with the, not with the least resistance, but right. the one that Jesus wanted for you. And so that's very admirable. I appreciate that. Yes. And so if, so you said the Lakers would be one of your top, um, places that you would want to be picked up on who's the player that you admire right now oh uh, right now I, I like watching Steph Curry uh, okay. I think he's one of the ones that one of my favorites um, just you know the way he plays the game um, mm -hmm. you know the way um, he causes defenses trouble um, you know it's one thing that I like to watch about him wow well well we're gonna I bet he's listening to this <laughs> right now <laughs> and he's admiring this wisdom that you carry in your heart Max, of just me, it's beyond your years. Mm -hmm. And I know that there's so many people, everyone that's tuning in has a dream. They, they're they identifying what God's calling them to, but they don't know how to go after it. What would you say would be your top three tips of wisdom to go after that dream? Uh, one thing I would say is, um, you know, have a, have a great work ethic. Mm -hmm. um, you know, be committed to, um, you know, following that dream and um, understanding that you can do that, um, which would also be my second tip is just you can do anything, you know, um, right. set, you set your mind to it um, and, and you work at it and, and you can go and, and do whatever, uh, whatever you uh, set yourself out to do. And then third, uh, one of the things that I, I really like is control what you can control. Mm -hmm. um, there's going to be a lot of, you know, factors, outside factors that, um, you know, may say you can't do something or, you know, things that might affect your journey along the way. But, mm -hmm. you know, just keep pushing forward and, and you can see it through. 
Amen. We completely agree. And Max, what has has there been some quotes? I know that you know for any task there has to be a rhythm in our mindset of what we're um, saying to ourselves, what God is speaking over us. Are there some scriptures and um, some quotes that help you? run faster than ever before yeah i mean um you know just as i was saying you know um you know work in the dark so that you can shine in the light um i think that's one of the big uh, one of the big things for me um mm -hmm. and then going back to high school um we kind of talked about um be glad that you get to do it you know so mm -hmm. approaching it with the right attitude um and really just understanding that at any second you know these things can be taken away just like that um right. so really approaching it with the right attitude and and being grateful that you, you're able to do it mm, i well, that's so profound of knowing that, yeah, we don't know if we have tomorrow. Right, and right. we just saw one of the, the biggest athletes, you know, he fell down mm -hmm. and they didn't think that he was going to survive right, right. and was prayed over. Mm -hmm. And I think that was a wake-up call for everyone mm -hmm. um, to be able to know that God has a plan and purpose for our lives. So definitely, that definitely. is uh, very profound wisdom. Mm -hmm. And when you... so. When you're in that moment, Max, of being able to be in these games and you want to be able to encourage your teammates, mm -hmm. they're, they're probably nervous. How do you deal with all mm -hmm. this uh, excitement, anxiety, right. um, even fear? Right. How yeah. do you cultivate that? Uh, I think, I mean, for all of us, we've been playing basketball for so long and, you know, we've had dreams that we've set out to reach. Mm -hmm. um, and so... Um, to be uh, at the at the Division One level, um, and so um, to be at a high level, understand what it takes to win games. Um, I think that uh, definitely helps us. And then for me, um, just being a leader for the guys, um, mm -hmm. you know, making sure we just stay together the whole time, um, especially on road games. You know, it's really just us and you know the opposing crowd cheering against us. Um, so being a leader, just keeping us together. Um, and like I said, it's always encouraging my teammates. You know, I, I know the work that they put in. Um, so I have, you know, confidence in, in them that they're going to go out there and perform just, you know, just as well. Right, right. Do you have any funny moments that you can share with us? I know a lot of team dynamics are pretty right. hidden, but can you tell us about <laughs> some of the dynamics that are going on in the team this year? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I have really any, um, you know, just funny moments that, you know, just happen on the court or anything. But, you know, just off the court, just, you know, in the locker room, just building that bond that we have with one another, just joking around, you mm -hmm. know, it's always uh, great to see. Um, yeah. Yeah. I know a lot of the things you have to keep <laughs> hidden, <laughs> right? Nice. So we will respect <laughs> that. <laughs> but we 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 have heard such amazing things. Who was your coach? Uh, coach Paul Mills. That's our coach. Okay, and um, the captains of the team are. We don't really have captains. Um, okay. It's you know um, I try to be a leader for the guys, and we have other guys that you know take uh, res uh, take that next step and be mm -hmm. leaders as well. You know mm -hmm. I think we have like a, a veteran group of guys. Um, so an uh, older team, and you know everybody uh, you know chips in of, of the knowledge that they have, and mm -hmm. um, if they have something to say, they'll, they'll say it, and you know we all hold one another accountable. Right. Right. Well, we just we know that you are a leader of leaders on the team, but also mm -hmm. at this university. Mm -hmm. And Max, what has been your favorite thing about Oral Roberts University that has allowed you to be the man you are today? Oh, uh, I would say just the the community aspect of it, um, you know, and, and the support that they bring, you know, to to the team, to my teammates and I, um, you know, uh, if you were here my freshman year, you would kind of see how much just. The support has grown, um, especially, you know, coming out to games, you know, hmm. it's grown so much um, and it continues to grow. And uh, I'm, I'm glad to see that. Yes. Well, we have. Yeah, it's just I think that God is honoring your heart and this humility and being able to know that God wants to be able to show the world what is possible. And so. We just thank you for that, and we want we people want to be able to get in touch with you, Max, mm -hmm. and with Oral Roberts University. Mm -hmm. um, how can they do that to be able to stay in touch? Um, and for for us, just following you know the Oral Roberts basketball page, um, you know they yeah. tweet tweet and post every day, um, every game will let you know how you can watch it, how you can listen in. So. Uh, following the Oral Roberts page for sure. Okay. And then how can they get in touch with you, Max, to be able to cheer you on? And they want to be able to right. see you go mm -hmm. to the NBA. Yeah. I, mean, I believe it. And I, I believe everyone tuning in believes in it as well. I appreciate it. Yes. Yeah, for, for me, uh, I'm on Instagram and Twitter. Um, so just at Max Aceman. It's just all one word. Okay. And can you spell your last name just so everyone 
who is tuning in via radio. I know on our show, <laughs> our TV show, they can see that on right. screen, but. Uh, A-B-M-A-S. Okay, perfect. Well, we just honor you so much, Max, for being on with us today and your life, your legacy. I know you're mid-season, so taking the time to do this interview right. uh, in the midst of your academics as well. We really appreciate it, and we cannot wait to see these upcoming mid-court shots <laughs> and to be able to uh, really just get a look at your incredible heart for the Lord and for this team and for the future of what's mm -hmm. going to happen in this world to be able to see heaven come through earth through basketball. Definitely, we love it. Definitely. Appreciate well, you for having me. Yes, thank you. And highly recommend everyone go follow Max. Be able to tune in. Go follow him on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, everywhere. Watch this journey. If you're just getting a part of it, you're not too late. You can join in now and welcome everyone to go to oru.edu to be able to find Max and the basketball team, follow them on this incredible journey. I'm an ORU doctorate student. You guys want to be part of this community. Uh, we just admire all um, that the Lord is doing here in this world-renowned community. Till next time, Dreamer, keep dreaming big.